Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Erickson, I'm a music video director and cinematographer. On this channel, I talk about filmmaking stuff, so if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Anyways, let's get on with today's tutorial. Today, we're going to turn something that was shot at 30 frames per second or even 24 frames per second into a slow-mo video. Normally, when you want to add slow-mo to a video, you first have to shoot it at a very high frame rate, meaning 60 frames per second or even 124 frames per second. This way, it's easier to slow down in post. All you have to do is right-click, speed duration, and change the speed from 100 to 50 or even 40. But if for some reason you forgot to change your frame rate while you were shooting the, um, your video and you try to slow it down in post, you'll get a choppy video like this. And this is not acceptable. However, there are some rules you have to follow in order to get the best result out of this feature in Premiere Pro. One, the video that you shoot has to be as stable as possible. And two, it can't have, it can't be too active, meaning too many moving pixels. I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. All right. First thing you need to do is import your clip and then right click on your clip, go down to speed duration and change the speed from 100 to 50. I wouldn't recommend going under 50 or less than 50. I found that 50 is a sweet spot. After doing so, right click your video clip again and go down here to time interpolation and then optical flow. The effect has been applied, but you can't see it yet until you render out your clip. So let's do that. Go up here to sequence and then render selection. As you can see, we got a slow motion shot from a video that was shot at 24 frames per second. Now, let me show you what you'll get if you do the same exact thing, but with a clip that has too much going on. See this? You don't want this in a video because it shows that you didn't shoot this video at the correct frame rate and you used optical flow. And at the end of the day, that just makes you look like an amateur. All right, that was it. If you liked the video and you find this inform inform informative, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And yeah, I see you guys in my next video. Peace out. 